So the first bit um, we need to do is try to make sense of that thing there, that red sentence. The population P of a colony of bacteria increases at a rate proportional to the population. How are we going to write that down? What are you thinking? Proportional, isn't that like... So it's like, like K. K. And then if it was like proportional and proportional, it's like yeah. K, A or Perfect. A or K. So this, because this is directly proportional, it's just going to be K times. If it's indirect, it's going to be K divided by. Yeah. It's directly. So, okay, let's write that down then. So, the population increases at a rate. What's that in letters? What's that in sort of... Uh, not dy dx, that's the right idea. It's increased gradient. Increased gradient, but in terms of the letters I've got. So no. dp dt. dt, brilliant. That's the rate of change of the population, dp dt. And that's proportional to what? Does it tell us it's proportional to? Population. population, so it's proportional to p. Well, see, alpha sign just means proportional to. So in the equation, it would be kp. Um, so we can replace proportional with equals kp. That's looking quite good. I mean, it might be that our k and the k the answer might not be the same thing. We'll assume they are to start off with. One way around that is to just use a different letter, but I'm going to go with k in this case. So that's good. And that is a different equation. What does that mean, the little funny sign? This, this fishy sign? Yeah. Proportional to. So I've got, a, I've got a, uh, a differential equation. It's not a complicated one, it's not half as complicated as the ones I actually solved previously, but it is a differential equation, and to solve it, we do the same thing, we separate the variables. There's not many variables to separate here, there's not much in here. So I'm going to have the p's on this side, I'm going to have the p's on the other side. So there's only a couple of things that actually need moving. So what needs moving? So you want the p's on one side? Yeah, p's on one side. So we need, yeah, 1 over P, P is equal to K, P, C. As I say, not much to move. Temptation is to move the K as well. I wouldn't. We can. It doesn't affect the answer, but it just makes it more complicated. I'd leave the K where it is. And then once we've got to that point, we can integrate both sides. The, and it's not a difficult integration this time. What's the integral of 1 over P? Um, LNP, yeah. And on the other side, it's full of K with respect to T. K, oh. K, T, K, T. And then, because we haven't got any numbers on it, what else do I need? Plus C. Plus C. Is it K, T because it would be like 1K? Yeah, exactly. And K is just a number. K is just a number. So, okay. And we're integrating with respect to T. Yeah, so that's good. So that is my equation nearly so It doesn't look anything like this yet. So that's what we're going to try and aim for next. So it tells us P0 is the initial population. So what does that mean? What does that mean? When T is equal to 0, P is equal to P0. And if I use that information, I should be able to find out what the C is. That's the plan anyway. Let's see what we get. Sorry, what's P0? That's the, it tells us in the question, P0 is the initial population. You don't have to, it's, it's just a number. number. You, you, if you brought the k onto this side over here, you could, yeah, you could. So you'd end up with integrating 1 over kp dp, which is fine. And if you integrate that, you get log of kp, but then you have to divide that by 1 over k, and everything oh. starts to get more complicated. So if, if you integrate 1 over 2x, for example, the x, you end up with a half yeah. of log 2x. Um, yeah. And it just, it just, you can do that, but it just makes it more complicated. Just plus C. Because T is nothing, so K times nothing is nothing. So K is equal to log P0. And then if I swap that back in, which is good. So I've solved the differential equation. However, it does not look quite like this. So C equals um, E to the power of zero. Well, yeah, E to the power of C. E to the, well, hmm. well, we'll have a look at that in a second. So I've swapped in log P0 into there. I'm not doing anything with these just yet. I could have at that point, but I haven't. Looking at this equation here. Because I've swapped in P is P0 into that bit there. 
Uh, t is nothing, so k times nothing is nothing. Yes. So I'm just left with plus c there. And now I just swap that back in there. Um, how did you get from the k integrated to the kt? Right, so what's the integral of 2x? Uh, sorry, 2 dx? 2x. 2x. Uh, okay. uh, okay. uh, so enough? Yeah. Okay. okay, good. So the next challenge is to make this look like this. So any suggestions on what I might want to do to make that happen? So at the minute, I'm, I, I've got this equation in, which is correct, but the question wants me to make it look like this. And it doesn't at the minute. So we can E both sides. There's a lot of ways you can do this. Eing at this point is probably not the best thing to do, but we'll do it. Well, how do you divide L and E by L and PO? You can't divide by it, but I like, what, I like your thinking. No, no, you can minus it. Minus it. And that's the same as dividing. Correct. And then you get rid of L and P, and then you divide by L and P, and then you times by L and P. Like it. I will do it the way that you suggested by taking the, this side in a second. I'll do it over there. But let's just take log p0 from both sides. Because this, this is the easiest way to do it. If you're getting rid of logs, it's best to get all the logs on the same side. If you're just subtracting, it's the same as division. So is it because... How do we put it into L and then... This one here? No, that one. Yeah. So I've got C is equal to this. I just swapped it into this equation. So C is it's oh, a log. Okay. So at this point here, because I've got everything is just one log on this side, it's easier to do the E end of the that. And you hopefully can see it's fairly straightforward how to get from this one to this one. And then we've done the first bit. But if you decide to take E at this point, I'll do it in red over here. If you decide to take E at this point, E of log P is P, so that's fine. So you've got to make sure that all of that side is raised to the power of T. So it's E to the KT plus log P0 looks like that. The next thing you've got to remember is, if you're adding indices, what's it the same as? Time. Time. So we could say P is equal to E to the KT times by E to the log P0. And E of, e of log P0 is? E to the P0. So again, we've got same result. So either way works. But I can, but I'm not doing it now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, have a look at that and take. Um, okay. Happy with that? Yeah. Now it tells us next that the population quadruples in two days. So looking at this equation here, I can use that bit of information to get the value of k. That's what I want to do next. So what am I swapping in to p and t to make that work? The qu population quadruples in two days. Quadruples means? 4p. So 4p equals p o e. 4po, because that's the initial population of po, yeah? So 4p o. 0, 2. So 2k, so effectively. Wait, sorry, why is it? So it quadruples in two days. So its initial population is p0. In two days, it's four times bigger, so it's 4p. But why isn't it just 4p? Yeah. Because p is the general population at any particular time, isn't it? p0 is specifically the initial it's population. The initial number. Initial number is a specific number. But p0 is equal to t, so it's equal to t. No, p0 equals the population when we start. That's specifically at the start of the experiment. So surely it's p equals 4p um, well, you're saying that, yeah? But when t is equal to 2, yeah, we've started off with PO, it's 4 times bigger, so the P is actually 4 PO. So it's 4 times bigger. Why change the P to the PO? Because what I start off with an initial population, let's say it's 10 for the sake of argument. Two days later it's quadruple, so what is it? It's not 4P, it's 40. It's a specific value. I started off with a specific PO, which could be anything. Two days later, it's four times bigger, so it's four times bigger than this. Not four times bigger than the general PO. Five times bigger, not four times bigger. Oh, that's, um, that's the next bit of the question, I've not got to that yet. I'm at this part. Where, so. where do you get this four from? Oh, quadruples. Quadruples. So then it's not the initial population. It says the population quadruples from what in two days? The initial, initial population. Okay. 
No, no, that's fine. So we got so we find the k value and then we use that k value to find that when the population is five times bigger. But looking at that equation there, what can I do to make it a bit easier for myself? Exactly right. So that's what we started with. So we divided by p to make things easy for ourselves. So four so is equal to it. then we log it. So we get Therefore, k is equal to ln2. Ln2 is so half log 4. Y is half log 4 log 2. What can I do with half? When I bring it in, it becomes power, doesn't it? Yeah. So we get k is equal to log 2, which is good. So now, my equation is now p is equal to p0 e to the power of log 2 times my p. I'll put the log 2 in brackets just so that we know the log is only of 2, not of the t as well. So, the last bit of the question then, show the population is 5 times bigger. Alright, so, when t is equal to log of a over b. So, 5 times bigger implies what's the population now? 5 p o. 5 p o. Brilliant. So, I go back to this equation here, and I've got 5 p o is equal to p o e to the log 2 times by t. So then, once you found out that you use like the first population of equal to t, so you get p equals p o e to the log of t. Yeah. Then once you have that, then you find out that it's exactly right. So divide by p o again. So we get 5. So 5 is equal to e log 3t. Okay, log it. So we get log 5 is equal to log 2 times t and divided by log t. So my initial question was wrong again. So I should have said, I copied it down incorrectly, log a divided by log t. Oh, well, I get the idea. Back.